What's going on guys and welcome to this week's weekly ramble video. I hope you all are having a fantastic week. It's been a fantastic one for me so far. I hope you are also having a fantastic Valentine's Day. If you have a Valentine, if you don't, doesn't matter. Hopefully you guys are having a great day regardless. Uh, I'm probably going to be spending the day obviously at work, but then uh, with my girlfriend Caitlin, which I'm very, very excited about. So uh, hopefully you guys have got some awesome plans and if you don't, then hopefully uh, you've got some fun things to do on your own, but either way, uh, very, very excited for the holiday. Uh, a couple things before I kind of get into the main thing that I want to talk about. Uh, upcoming giveaway, we have Ravnica Allegiance Guild Kits. Uh, we did this with Guilds of Ravnica, and so I think it makes sense that we would do it for Allegiance as well. Uh, we're basically going to be giving one of them away at your choice. So uh, if you win, you get to choose from any of the five, uh, and we will send that to you. Uh, heads up, by the way, on the giveaways. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. Uh, if you're outside the U.S., uh, we've had a lot of questions whether or not you can enter if you're outside the U.S., things like that. Yes, you can enter. Uh, there is no limit. I mean, anybody can enter any of our giveaways, but uh, we obviously can't ship outside of the U.S. Uh, just because of shipping costs and things like that. But what we can do is PayPal you uh, the value of whatever we were giving away. So what we do is we go on Card Kingdom, which is usually where we kind of ship things from, uh, just because they've got really quick shipping uh, and affordable prices. So uh, we usually order from there and just send direct to you. Uh, and so if we can't do that for whatever reason, we'll figure out whatever the price is of whatever the, the chosen giveaway item is, and then we'll just PayPal you that amount. That way you can still enter. You may not get the guild kit or uh, any of our other giveaway items, but you still get the value. You can still win. So that way everybody's included. We don't like to exclude anybody if possible. Uh, and that seems to be the best way to handle it. We haven't ran into, we haven't run into, excuse me, any issues with people saying, well, that's not good enough or anything like that seems to me that everybody seems pretty accepting of that so that's the way we've handled it in the past i just want to get that out of the way uh that should be coming up in the next uh couple weeks i'm debating on releasing it sooner uh let me know i guess in the comment section if you feel like we should uh we could technically release it kind of any time uh but we usually run it towards the end of the month just to give you guys some leeway in between each giveaway because we do do them every month uh so yeah that's the plan for that be on the lookout. It should be a YouTube giveaway, so go ahead and subscribe, uh, comment, do whatever you want to do, but uh, we'll give you the actual hashtag that you need to comment on any of our videos uh, over the next, again, whenever we release it, probably a week or two. So that's the plan there. Uh, we also have gotten a request. Uh, so if you haven't kept up with the podcast episodes, obviously we are back now for season two. Uh, we're well into it at this point. Uh, and it's been so much fun, I just want to mention. Uh, getting back into it has been awesome. Uh, Will and I recording together is always a good time, and so to actually be sitting down and doing that again with Will is absolutely the most fun thing in the world. I love it. Uh, but the last two weeks, uh, two weeks ago we actually did a modern update, and then yesterday we did a standard update uh, just to kind of get everybody caught up on the environments that we're seeing at this given point. Now, it's a little premature on standard, we know. Uh, obviously, we haven't had too many major tournaments or anything like that yet to see how things are going to flesh out, but uh, we are seeing some trends that we wanted to go ahead and get out there and then hopefully be able to speculate on the health of the format and then where some of these decks are going to be going. Uh, and so we, I think, accomplished that in yesterday's episode. So if you are interested in standard or modern, I would highly, highly suggest going back and checking out those episodes. They are very useful. I think we actually gave some decent information. We actually did research this time. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, just go ahead, check those out. But uh, we did have someone comment on the standard uh, update video asking about popper. Uh, and are we going to do a popper update or anything like that? Uh, and normally we don't just because it's kind of a sidebar format. Uh, Commander, Popper, uh, even Legacy and Vintage we don't really touch very much just because they're not as widely played and Commander and is widely played but it's very all over the place so it's a little bit difficult to give like solid actual updates on Commander because again it's Commander and it is a casual format by trade for the most part. So. Uh, we, we, we don't normally give too many big updates on those, but uh, that does raise the question that are you guys interested in it? So uh, obviously we do have someone interested in Popper, uh, so we'd be happy to do a Popper update if you guys are actually wanting that. Uh, but is there any other kinds of like content outside of just standard, modern, those kinds of things that you'd be interested in hearing about 
uh, or us doing some research on them bringing you some information. So uh, feel free, leave us some comments in the comment section below. We would be happy to do any of that, uh, assuming that that is something that you guys are interested in. So just keep us posted in the comment section. We'd be happy to do whatever we can do. Uh, but that's pretty much it for announcements. So here's the big thing I want to talk about. And I mentioned this in the podcast episode yesterday briefly. Uh, but it's something that I kind of wanted to delve into a little bit more uh, just because I, sh I didn't get the chance to talk about it at the time. Uh, and I, I would say I know every detail. I knew some of the details as they were going on. Uh, I have since not talked about it much just because it's not been a big deal. But I, I thought it was a big enough deal to actually talk about it. So essentially what this boils down to is we had a, uh, some theft in Grand Slam. As you guys know, Grand Slam is a very, very good sponsor for us. They're our local game store. They're a really nice group of guys, uh, and they do a really, really good job. They're working their hardest to build up the Magic community right now and doing a fantastic job. Uh, with the aid of Tyler from Burst of Knowledge, they've actually gotten a lot of tour tournaments actually started up, uh, as well as some help from one of the, uh, the workers at the store, Parker, uh, who is a very, very nice guy. I've had the pleasure of working with him a little bit, uh, just in transactions for It Resolves, things like that. And he, he really works with us well. Uh, he's a really nice guy. And unfortunately, uh, he actually had some cards stolen only a couple weeks ago. So uh, somebody came in and they were browsing around. They were kind of taking their time. From my understanding, I will say a little bit of a disclaimer. I was not there. I am reporting on this, so I can't say that I know every detail. I might get a few things wrong, so I do apologize in advance. But uh, it sounds like, from my understanding, uh, that someone was browsing. They were asking to see a few cards that were not necessarily out in the cases that were behind the counter, uh, which is fine. That's They just don't have always enough room, so they have to hold some cards behind the counter. As Parker went to go get those cards, apparently this guy went and stole a few. Uh, I do not know how many, I don't know the value, I don't know anything like that, so all I know is that he did just up and steal a few cards. Uh, and I, if I'm not mistaken, they're from Parker's personal collection, but either way, it doesn't really matter. The fact is, he was stealing them. Uh, and he ended up walking out uh, at some point. I believe they suspected that he was stealing the cards, but they couldn't necessarily prove it on the spot, so they didn't want to just be like, hey you can't leave because obviously that's not cool. If he didn't steal anything, that would not have been uh, appropriate. Uh, but apparently he did steal stuff. Thankfully, they have security cameras in Grand Slam. Uh, I highly suggest if you're an owner of a game store or anything like that, please, please invest in security cameras. It is more than worth it. Uh, unfortunately, there are people in the community that will look to steal cards and then maybe resell them, do something along those lines. Uh, you need to protect yourself against people like that. Uh, those people should not be in our community, in my opinion. Uh, I do not think that stealing is in any, in any way justified, uh, especially in the Magic community, but really anywhere. Uh, and so, regardless, this person stole some cards. Thankfully, after the fact, they were able to prove on camera that he was stealing. Uh, now, obviously, that leaves the question, did they catch him? Uh, fortunately, the next day, they did catch him at another local game store again. I believe it was at G2K Games. That's my understanding of it. I may be incorrect on that detail, but I do know that they picked him up the next day uh, and he was charged, obviously, things like that. So uh, I believe that Parker and the store both got their cards back from my understanding as well. Hopefully that's the case. So in this instance, uh, it was a little bit of a, a happy ending, which is not oftentimes the case. So. Moral of the story time. Uh, so normally I don't talk about things like this just because it doesn't happen all that often, usually, uh, from what I have heard. It does happen more often, but I, you don't always hear about it. Uh, in this instance, it was caught. It was a good ending, but a lot of times it isn't. What I would charge for all of you to do, uh, and I say all of you, anybody that's watching that made it this far, uh, we would really, really like you to be vigilant anytime you go into a local game store. If you suspect anybody of cheating, or not cheating, well, that too, but stealing, uh, please tell somebody. Don't necessarily go up to the person and be like, hey, I saw you steal those cards. Uh, you better hand them back. You know, don't, don't, be for, don't be that guy who like just immediately accuses somebody. That's not fair. You have to give them some leeway and say, you know, 
I can't prove it. If you can't prove it, then it's not worth that fight. But you do need to say it to somebody. So if you suspect any kind of illegal activity, stealing, things like that, please alert somebody, the, the manager of the game store, somebody that works there, somebody who can really, really check, make sure that that person is doing either the right thing or the wrong thing, and then act accordingly. Uh, it is really, really an issue uh, that I have seen for local game stores. Again, it hasn't come up often, uh, but I did used to work at Grand Slam back in the day, uh, years and years ago. And unfortunately, every once in a while, things like that would happen. Uh, and we, at the time, did not have security cameras that would catch it, and so we couldn't prove it. Uh, and unfortunately, that just means they got away with it. Uh, a lot of times what we see is people who will steal cards from an individual uh, at like an FNM or something like that and then sh either try and sell them online or sell them to another local game store. Hopefully if they're smart they're not selling to a local game store because most of the local game stores at least from my experience are well communicated with each other and know that okay if if there's something fishy about this I'm gonna check around. Uh, so please please just be vigilant. Uh, this isn't something that I, I really planned out to talk about. It just came up. It seems like a really good thing to actually convey to you guys. Uh, and so that's, that's kind of it. I just wanted to make sure that you guys stay, stay vigilant, uh, in your local game stores. These people, you really, really have to be on top of that, uh, on top of things just to make sure that cards aren't being stolen. Unfortunately, that's the case. Uh, hopefully we can work towards a, a community where that's not as big of a problem. Uh, but obviously that's an ongoing process and it's never going to be perfect. So just be vigilant. That's all I can say. Uh, hopefully that's the moral of the story. Again, I'm very, very happy to say that things worked out well in this instance, uh, but they don't always. So just be aware. Uh, that's all I wanted to say, but I, that actually wraps up the weekly ramble. I didn't have anything else I wanted to talk about. Uh, I know that was a little off, uh, from the norm that we usually discuss on the weekly ramble, but it is an important story, hopefully with a good moral for you guys to keep in mind. Uh, and with that, I think I'm going to end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching this weekly ramble video. Stay vigilant, stay alert. Uh, if you did like it, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And as always, please make sure to subscribe, stay up to date on all of our awesome content. With that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.